Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael, RBM Crypto. I realized that I've done a bunch of videos discussing how to purchase Ethereum, Bitcoin, and other major currencies in the past. But since those videos have come out, Tracer Suite has done a massive upgrade. They have a desktop client now. So I kind of wanted to do a refresher on all of those videos. So I'm going to start a new tutorial section on my page on YouTube that basically goes through how to store every single cryptocurrency that you guys request. So I'm going to start with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some of the other majors. But after that, you can just leave a comment in the comment section of any of these videos. I'll see which tokens are being requested the most and I'll do videos of those as well. So let's get started with this video today on Bitcoin and how to purchase it on the exchange, withdraw from the exchange to your Trezor hardware wallet and keep it safely stored offline. So as you guys can see here, I'm currently on Mandela exchange. I got $1,000 in Tether. So for this demo, I'm going to buy $100 worth of uh, BTC at market price. 100 here and then buy PTC. So as you guys can see here, I've now purchased 0 0.0015 BTC, not too much. Uh, I'm gonna go to my wallet section here, go to balances. And as you guys can see here now, I have uh, an allocation of Bitcoin and the rest of my tether. So at this point, what I'm gonna wanna do is log into my Tracer to make sure I'm ready to receive tokens. So I'm gonna go to my Tracer device here. As you guys can see, it's right here. I'm gonna log in. Here we go. And I'm gonna let my account load here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my Bitcoin account. And as you guys can see here, I've now clicked on my Bitcoin account. I can choose to receive. And as you can see, it's showing a fresh address for me to receive my tokens to. So what I'm gonna do is hit show full address. I'm gonna confirm it on my device. And I'm gonna copy the address. Once I've copied the address, I can now minimize this page and I can go back to the exchange and I'm gonna to go to withdraw BTC. Now, just something of note guys, a lot of these exchanges have pretty hefty fees for small transactions to withdraw from the exchange. So that was a hundred dollar Bitcoin buy. As you guys can see here, the transaction fee is actually pretty significant for that amount of Bitcoin. So you're gonna be paying about $30 in withdrawal fees just to get that off the exchange. So what I like to do is I make sure that, you know, I'm making a big purchase and it's worth me paying the fee for if I'm going to use one of these exchanges. So I'm just going to paste my address in here and do the maximum amount to withdraw and hit submit. And now I'm going to go to my Google Authenticator and make sure I get my code from my email and then put my verification code in. And there we go. Now I have withdrawn my Bitcoin from the exchange to my Tracer device. And then usually with Bitcoin, it takes about anywhere from 10 to almost up to an hour to confirm two block transactions uh, on your Tracer suite that the token is actually, or the coin has actually moved from the exchange to your device uh, to be safely stored offline. So now we can go back to our Tracer suite and we can wait for the transaction to appear. And as you guys can now see, the Bitcoin has made it to my address. I've paid a hefty fee to get it there, but the Bitcoin nonetheless has arrived. So like I said, you know, make sure when you're making these transactions, you know what the fees on certain exchanges and you know, try and choose the best one uh, for your current needs. And that's pretty much it. So now that I've received the Bitcoin, I've created a new fresh address for future transactions. And if I wanna now send this Bitcoin back and reverse the process, all I would do is hit the X here, go to send, and I would just paste the address I want to send the Bitcoin to, the amount, and it'll show me the USD equivalent. And then I can just do my fee structure and then send. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this quick video, everyone. If you like the content you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be covering how to purchase and withdraw Ethereum to your Tracer device. Thanks and have a nice day.